Hey guys, so as I'm editing this, I'm not sure exactly what to call this video, but we will see what I end up putting as the title. I came across this doll in a local toy shop and at first I was kind of sad that I didn't have a use for it because it already looks like the character and so there isn't really a need to improve it, but I thought it would be fun to add some more realistic shading. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm not going to be trying to make this look like Mr. Incredible or Bob. While filming this, I didn't have any reference pictures. All I wanted to do was to give it some more realistic shading. So I'm not trying to make it look like him. I'm also not trying to not make it look like him because it does have his features. And so if it ends up looking like the character, it's okay. I do wish they had the mom or the daughter, but unfortunately looking at the box on the back, it seems like it is only male characters in this series. So as for the Incredibles, I'm not going to be doing more than this one. To my surprise, the doll is actually able to turn the head. It didn't look like it when I first saw it in the package. However, the high kick is just as sad as with the Avenger doll, so no improvement there. So the premise for this video is that I'm not going to be changing any of his facial features which would help with the realistic look but I wanted to see just what it would look like if I didn't do anything to his face other than remove the mask and then remove the hair as well. If you want to see how I remove the hair, feel free to check out any of my Avenger tutorials but to save some time I decided not to film it for this video. Once I had removed as much as one half of the mask as I possibly could with a q-tip and some acetone, I used acrylic paint to cover up the rest. And it's totally okay if it looks like super heavy makeup. Next I taped down one side of his face and then covered it up with some self-adhering fabric as well. This is just going to make it so that I can't see the other side while I'm working on one side. So for this repaint, just like with my three previous videos, I'm going to be using the heat set paint for the first portion of the repaint. And if you don't have this, you can also use acrylic paint, watercolor pencils and soft pastel, anything you'd use for a normal repaint. I'm starting off by applying a couple of skin tones in a stippling motion. The stippling motion is going to give it more of a skin type look so it's not going to look as smooth as it does on an animated character or this cartoony style. And I then set that using a hairdryer before continuing. What I love about the heat set paint is that it doesn't dry until you set it with heat. And although it's not necessarily a necessity for this type of repaint, it does make creating shading a lot easier. Do let me know if this is something you want to see more of, maybe with a different type of toy. It could be something like uh, My Little Pony or the LOL dolls or something like that. Personally, I like the idea of having this harsh 50-50 before and after. But I'm also up for painting both sides like I usually would. And if you want me to do a more realistic version where this might be more semi-realistic, I can definitely do that as well. For this, I did choose to add more fine lines or wrinkles than the character usually has. The reason for this is really just that I think it's fun to do. As I mentioned, I didn't try to make it look exactly like the character in the movie. I really just wanted to see what a quick paint job could do to such a simple doll.
For the hair, I'm going to be using some viscose and you just want to glue this on with any craft glue of your choice. I'm then using some watered down glue to style it and then for the rest of the repaint, I'm going to be using my watercolor pencils as well as some acrylic paint to shade the hair. And then finally for the fun part, the grand reveal. Now, I was aware that the sculpt or the paint job on the original doll wasn't completely straight, but the shading doesn't exactly conceal that. Lastly, I just added some resin to the eye on one side and the doll is done. If you have any requests, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.